Good morning students, a warm welcome to this recorded class. In the previous video I have explained you what are articles and what are the different types of articles that is definite article and indefinite article and uh, when to use the definite article the and when to use indefinite articles a and an and when to omit the articles also I have explained you with examples I have explained you. So now in this video let me explain a new topic to you that is what are prepositions. Now tell me what are prepositions? Prepositions are the words which tell the position of the object. In this only you have position. So prepositions are the words which tell the position of the objects. Okay, And it also shows the relationship of the noun or the pronoun with the other objects. Okay, Like let me take examples like in, on, by, uh, by next uh, what we can tell in front of, behind, before. So like this, under, above, across, between, beside, besides, like this. These are few examples of the prepositions, okay. So now there are four types of prepositions, okay. Mainly four types of prepositions that is preposition of time, preposition of place and direction, preposition of agents or things and phrasal prepositions. So these are the four types of prepositions so let us discuss about each type of preposition separately okay yes students see here first type of preposition is preposition of time it expresses the time it shows the relationship of time between the nouns to the other parts of the sentence to the other parts of the sentence see here there are few prepositions which we commonly use for the preposition of time what are those prepositions first let us study what are they see on at in, from, to, for, since, ago, before, till or until, by etc. So these prepositions commonly we use for the preposition of time. Here if you see the sentence example also I have given see here he started working at 10 a.m. At what time did he start working? At 10 a.m. It is asking about the time. It is we are talking here about the time. What is that 10 a.m.? So when we talk about the time, we use the preposition at here. So hope you all have understood. Next here, see, there is a holiday in December. So when do you have holiday? In what time you'll have holiday normally? In December. So here in is also talking about the time here. In which month? In December. When do you have holiday normally? In December. So when you talk about the time, we use the question when. Okay, when we talk about the time, we use the question when when did he start working at 10 a.m and when did there is a holiday in december like that in in order to identify easily whether it is a preposition of time or not you should ask the question when okay now let us discuss what is preposition of place okay see the next type of preposition that is preposition of place so what is preposition of place it shows the relationship of place between the nouns to the other parts of the sentence or in an easy way we can tell that it is used for places to express about the talk about the places to talk about the places normally we'll get the question where here in the preposition of time we use the question when to know what type of preposition it is now in the preposition of place we use where okay here are few commonly used preposition of places See what are they see on, at, in, by, from, to, towards, up, down, across, between, among, through, in front of, behind, above, over, under, below. So these are still there are so many but these are most commonly used prepositions of place okay see i have given few examples in the form of sentence also so it will be easy for you to identify what type of preposition it is okay see here 
he came from england from where did he come he came from england so england is a place so here from is used to talk about the place england so it is preposition of place okay next one see here i live across the river where do you live across the river so it this across is telling about the place river where you are living okay next the police broke into the house where did the police break into the house broke into the house means they are not breaking a thing here it's not it's not that he is breaking the thing broke into the house means what they occupied they what we can tell they entered the house they entered the house to catch the thief okay like that so the police broke into the house means they didn't break the house here they suddenly entered the house okay hope you all have understood what is preposition of place now let us learn next type of preposition okay next type of preposition is preposition of direction what is the next type of preposition it is i have explained both in one only that is preposition of place and preposition of direction i have explained what preposition of place and direction i have explained in the starting so here now i am explaining i have already explained preposition of place in the second type of preposition now i am explaining this separately that is what preposition of direction okay what is this these prepositions express the direction of something they are used to express the direction of something these prepositions are used to express the direction of something most commonly used preposition of direction are see here i have i have given most commonly used preposition of direction what are they see into to through towards down between so these are commonly used preposition of direction these are commonly used preposition of direction okay now let me give you few examples here see the snake was coming towards her in which direction was the snake coming towards her the snake was coming towards her next see the river runs through the woods in which direction will the river run through the woods next the boy tumbled down the hill how did he fall in which direction did he fall he tumbled down the hill so these words two words through down here they are used to show the direction these prepositions are used to show the direction or these prepositions express the direction so we call it as preposition of direction hope you all have understood students is preposition of agents or things the next type of preposition is preposition of agents or things it shows the casual relationship of the nouns with the other parts of the sentence okay it shows the casual relationship between the nouns and other parts of the sentence means with that noun to the other part of the sentence it shows the casual relationship of the noun with the other parts of the sentence let me take here few commonly used preposition of agents or things are see of what are the commonly used most commonly used prepositions of agents or things see here what are they see of for by with about etc so this shows the casual relationship of the noun with the other parts of the sentence okay see here now this article is about smartphone see this about is showing the relationship of smartphone with this uh, other part of the sentence this article is about smartphone about what is this article about smartphone so this one is the preposition of agent or things okay now see here he is playing with his brother with whom is he playing he is playing with his brother so relationship between uh, the noun with the other part of the sentence next see here i will always be here for you for whom you will be always here for you so this shows the relationship casual relationship between the noun to the other parts of the sentence noun or pronoun okay so hope you all have understood what is preposition of agents or things okay now let us do the next type of preposition okay yes, students next type of preposition is phrasal prepositions phrasal prepositions means they are a combination of two or more words which will function as a preposition which functions as a preposition means what which acts as a preposition it's a combination of two or more words which acts as a preposition or which functions as a preposition 
yes students next type of preposition is phrasal prepositions phrasal prepositions means they are a combination of two or more words which will function as a preposition which functions as a preposition means what which acts as a preposition it's a combination of two or more words which acts as a preposition or which functions as a preposition uh, here they are commonly used phrasal prepositions i have given some commonly used phrasal prepositions here what are they see along with apart from because of in front of according to means of in spite of in addition to instead of on top of with regard to so these are commonly used uh, phrasal prepositions these are commonly used phrasal prepositions means what it's a combination of two or more words it's a combination of two or more words which will act as a preposition here you won't get only one preposition uh, you won't get uh, uh, what we can tell uh, you won't get only one preposition like for of like that okay on in like that you won't get it's a combination of two or more prepositions see here i have given it in the form of sentence also see in spite of being a good player he was not selected means what here in spite of is a preposition that is what phrasal preposition it's a phrasal preposition means it's combination of two or more words okay which is acting as a preposition here in spite of being a good player though he is a good player he was not selected next see i am going out of the city means what out of is again a phrasal preposition hope you all have understood this topic students okay we'll continue with the new topic in the next class thank you very much students